What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to yet another speed build. Um, so today we are building my very first like Christmassy, snowy inspired home, December inspired home. I really don't know. Um, I didn't decorate the interior um, with Christmas decorations. So it's not really Christmas themed. It's just, yeah, a snowy build that I'm doing in the month of December. So, <laughs> yeah. But um, other than that, I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet, but I'm debating between either a colonial style home or a, a Georgian style home. Uh, if you don't know what a Georgian style home is, I'll just read you the description that um, is on architecturaldesigns.com. And it says, uh, Georgian home plans are characterized by their proportion and balance. They typically have square symmetrical shapes with panel doors centered in the front facade. So that's exactly what this build is. It's a completely rectangle home. It's symmetrical on both sides. Um, I do add a bump out to the back, but um, it's still that bump out within itself is a symmetrical shape. It's another square or triangle. Um, and yeah, it's yeah, it's symmetrical on both sides. It has the centered door in the front, um, everything. So that's why I may be calling it that if you don't know what it is. Uh, if you don't know what a Georgian style house is, but colonial style houses kind of look the same. Um, so I'll decide on what I want it to be called later. And you'll obviously know because you're watching the video. But anyway, the exterior is coming along. I wanted a door that had like windows on the sides. And the only ones we had were either like mid-century modern styled or they were like modern, modern <laughs> styled. So I kind of made a custom one out of this base game door and base game windows. The other windows I'm using are all from university. So they go all across the front like this. They go all across the sides. And then in the, in the back, the windows get a little funky. One, because I add the bump out back there and because of how the rooms end up laying, um, being laid out. Like there would have been like three windows in one of the bathrooms or something crazy like that. So uh, there's three windows, I think, in the back in the back of the house on literally the same side. So if that looks weird, I'm sorry, but I figured that when you get to like the sides and the backs of homes, the windows start looking funky anyway. Um, so it's whatever. But then I, out here in the front, I am actually building from reference. So if I can find the photo on Pinterest, I will pop it up on the screen now. But um, so right now I'm just recreating this kind of like rock wall that was out in the front that also had like an iron gate or fence. Um, in the middle of it leading to the front door. So that is what I'm recreating now. Also, the wall was completely covered in bushes and vines and vegetation and stuff like that. So, uh, but they were all, they weren't dead necessarily, but all of the leaves and stuff on them were brown. So I'm trying to find all of the uh, landscaping in the Sims that doesn't necessarily die in the winter time. They just change color. Um, so I have, disclaimer now, I have no idea what any of this is going to look like. Not in winter time. In, in fall, it may look okay, but in spring and summer and all the colors are vibrant, I have no idea what this is going to look like. Um, so hopefully it looks okay. I'm sorry if it doesn't. Feel free to change it. Obviously, do what you want. Another thing I will say about any of my builds that I'm going to be doing this month that are going to be in the snow, I probably will not go back and do the terrain painting um, on the lot before uploading it to the gallery. So again, you would have to add your own terrain paint once, you know, if you placed it down, not in winter and i mean obviously if you um if you don't have seasons you won't have winter at all so you would have to put terrain paint and then if you do have seasons it's not going to be winter 24 7 so you would still have to eventually put terrain paint down 
um, yourself. But unless that bothers someone, if it bothers enough people before I put it on the gallery, I will go back and do the terrain painting. So just let me know down in the comments um, if that if that's what you want me to do. And I will do that before uploading all of my December builds to the gallery. Um, tomorrow's build won't actually be necessarily a winter uh, or Christmas inspired build. I'm actually going to be doing my first rental lot that's not in Mount Komorebi. So it's going to be in Sulani. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. But I'm really excited about it. it I actually got the floor plan for the build that I'm going to be doing in tomorrow's speed build. I actually got it from the architectural designs website. There's like, if you go to that website, I'll link it down below. There's a um, tab for that says styles and it gives you a whole bunch of styles of homes. Like I'll just read off the first three. So the first three styles that pops up is cottage, country, and new American. And so I actually found the house that I'm going to be building for tomorrow's speed build in the Florida section um, on this website. So I'll, I'll link that website down below because the advice I give to everyone that is like new to building in the Sims or just wants to practice building in the Sims, find a build to reference and literally copy it exactly. And then once you do that enough times, eventually, You'll just, you'll form your own way of building things based off of the things you've built in the past by reference. Hopefully that makes sense. That's what helped me. Um, when I first started YouTube, I couldn't, or my Sims YouTube, I couldn't build anything without looking at a reference. Like every single speed build that I put out when I first started for like a month, maybe even two, was all straight from a reference photo because I couldn't do anything um, without looking at a reference photo. Um, but now I can. So that's my advice on that. Um, it would probably even be better to use something like this website and find actual floor plans and not just like the front of a house. Because if you find the front of the house on like, if you find a house like on Pinterest, first of all, you might not always find what the back of the house looks like. And you might not always see um, what the inside of the house looks like. So you would still be doing a lot on your own. And that's what I had to do. But like, I'm like, not to like brag or anything, obviously, but I'm like naturally creative. So, it, or like, you, you, that sounds so conceited and I'm sorry. I don't mean it in a bad way, but um, I just like naturally have an eye for things like this. So I was able to like do it without having a like, this is what the interior should look like. I've always been like that. Even before I started building in The Sims, um, I would love to furnish. I could, I would always find builds on the gallery and just refurnish them, or take starter homes and or take homes that are already in the game and just completely refurnish them. I was always good at that. So not seeing like floor plans and um, like pictures of what the inside should look like. I, I still, I, I managed to get around it. But enough about that. <laughs> I just always, like I've said before, I don't always like talking about every single aspect of the build because you, you, you see me doing it. So I don't have to say like, oh, now you see me placing down this because obviously you just saw me place down that. But I did completely talk through the kitchen and I kind of am sad about that because it's one of my favorite rooms of the entire house. I love, love, love the color scheme. The whole blue and light, the whole like, white and blue and light tan colors is not a new color scheme for anyone for any summer on youtube it's not new for me but i really really enjoy the look of this kitchen um here's the dining room so i'm using a parenthood table the chairs are actually from Jungle Adventure, but I think I thought the colors really worked. They really blend in with the laundry day rug that I'm using. And um, that white above the table is actually from the holiday stuff pack. So the free, that's a free pack. So if you don't have it, just go to your Sims game main menu and you can find it and download it. Um, it's completely free, but that light came with that holiday stuff pack. Um, and I know it kind of has like the garland on it, but I feel like I'm going to start using that in more like regular builds because 
um it doesn't necessarily have to be christmas themed it could just be you know a design choice um sorry if i'm saying i'm um a lot i probably do that in a lot of videos i just do it between thoughts <laughs> uh but yeah see i just did it again because i was thinking of what to say next but this is the living room i'm going with all not all but mostly cats and dogs if you don't have cats and dogs this build will it definitely 100 percent will be very empty um if you download it so i'm sorry about that but it's heavy heavy on the cats and dogs I was trying to make a more realistic fireplace with this and using platforms, but whenever I went to put in the rug in the dining, not the dining table, the rug in the coffee table, excuse me, I had to burp. <laughs> when I went to put in the rug in the dining, oh my goodness, <laughs> the rug in the coffee table, it was just, it just all looked a bit cluttered or not cluttered, but too cramped. So I end up getting rid of it. I get rid of it once and then put it back and then I shuffle around some more and then I just be like, oh, then I'm finally just like, okay, get rid of it. Um, I am using a rug from Eco Lifestyle in the living room, which I did not think I was going to ever use with like the cats and dogs aesthetic, but it works um, because it has like this bluish grayish tint to it. And the like the main couch that's in front of the fireplace has that blue that grayish blue in the couch. So I thought that that rug looked really nice and it kind of added like a contemporary um, feel to the, or not a contemporary feel, but like a contemporary element to the living room instead of it all just being this like more traditional uh, ornate even um, type of furnishing or, or really, really like old, old, married couple kind of style of furnishing i don't imagine the people that live here are old i just imagine it being a very old house that maybe was furnished when they got it and over time they've just like slowly added pieces like so that's i don't know so they added that rug they added that more sleek and um that more sleek and blue coffee table and just small stuff even the kitchen like I imagine the kitchen didn't originally have the bar um the not the bar yes the bar but like the the center island I imagine it didn't always have that um and they they just slowly added stuff so this is the office this is the dad's office or the mom's office when I was building it I was thinking dad but it could be the mom's office um, I meant to think of a career for the dad, um, as I was, or before I did this voiceover, but I didn't, I totally forgot. Um, so the dad is some sort of businessman who works out of his house and he has his clients come and meet him at home. Um, at first I was thinking maybe a real estate agent, um, uh, but then I was like, a real estate agent really wouldn't work out of their house unless maybe he's like an independent real estate agent who's like just starting out and it's just him and he doesn't have an office building or anything like that so maybe that's what it is because i also put this check up on the wall to be like his first sale or something so let's say that let's say the dad is a real estate agent who is just starting out with his own real estate company um he got a loan from the bank or something like that, and he's doing very well. He just doesn't have an office yet or a staff and is just saving up as much as he can um, off of his commissions until he can open an office and start hiring people. Um, I imagine maybe his wife does help him. She's probably a stay-at-home mom because they do have three kids. Um, so she's probably a stay at home mom. Not that, sorry if that sounded offensive, not that a woman that has three, uh, three or more kids has to be a stay at home mom. I'm just saying like for the purposes of this storyline in this household, the mom was a stay at home mom, but then when the dad maybe quit his everyday like cubicle office job and started this real estate company, maybe the mom started to help him out with that. Um, so she will show houses and sell houses as well. So it's kind of becoming like a family business. Other than that, the mom's hobbies are planting. That's why there's like 
Um, I put some planner boxes in the front and the back, and I put, um, put some... When I say planter boxes, I mean like ones that are in debug that are that already have plants in them. And I put some actual planter boxes in the backyard that you can actually use to plant your own things. Um, I only put three, but they're the bigger ones. So I think in those you can put like four different things on it. So you could plant four, six, wait, four, eight, twelve different things. Um, other than that, the mom probably really loves to cook and really spends most of her time in the kitchen, which is why they eventually got it renovated. Um, this bump out in the back that I was referring to earlier, that's what I'm furnishing now. And I imagine it was a add on. So they added this onto the house as well, just as a less formal seating area for the family. It does have a smaller TV, but I imagine it's mostly the kids that are in this room. So that's why I put the gaming station there for the teen boy and the middle child, which is also a boy. And then the toy box there for, um, that toy box isn't functional. It's just really decorate decoration. But yeah, then the, then I put the toy box just to show that it's, that it's a family, it's a family room. It's not meant to look very neat or, um, they don't expect company to go in there, basically. Um, now I'm just kind of going around and cluttering up different things as I go along. I used to do every single build the same. I would go through and furnish every single room. And then once I finished the last room, I would go back and clutter every single room. But as of lately, I've been using the Better Build and Buy debug um organized debug mod and it and it just fills the catalog with everything in debug so it it's been very tedious and very overwhelming to to not necessarily furnish but to clutter things nowadays um so i what i've been doing lately is i clutter as i go along um just out like thinking about what i want in that room um, but I did literally, as I was building this, I told myself, I was like, Corey, from now on, when, whenever you get to the point of cluttering, you're going to turn off debug and live edit objects and just stick with the maxes objects. Cause hardly do I ever clutter with debug objects. Um, so it would just be easier to like remove those from my menu <laughs> when I start to clutter because I, it's so tedious to the point to where a few of my speed builds, I haven't even shown you me cluttering because it's so tedious and gets on my nerves. But I've learned from my mistakes and that won't happen again. But anyway, this is the master bedroom. It's very orange and peachy in here. I really don't know what was going on, but I made it work as bright as it is. If the floors were any different color, that room would have been unbearable to look at, but <laughs> it's okay. And then this is the first kid's room. So this is an actual kid. She is a girl who is obsessed with void critters. Um, I imagine she wants to move to Mount Komorebi because, you know, Mount Komorebi has the... Uh, festival of youth where the kids can actually go void critter hunting so she's ever since she was younger she's wanted I, I don't know maybe she's like seven or eight and maybe ever since she was like five she's wanted to move there um, her parents have promised or her dad has promised like once the company makes money he will take her they're not going to move there but he'll take her to do the void critter hunt so if you download this uh if you download this house and you want to play out that storyline, I would love to see you do that. Um, so tag me on Twitter with the YouTube link if you do that or, or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> but um, or send me screenshots or whatever. Um, I don't know when this build will be on the gallery because I've said this several times. But since I am building with the better build and buy... Um, mod if i try to upload something to the gallery with that mod on it will count that build as having custom content even though it doesn't so in order to post it to the gallery i have to turn the better build and buy mod off 
exit my game and then re-enter my game. Um, and that's just too tedious. And so what I've been doing lately is I'll do like three, four, five, six <laughs> builds, and then I will turn the mod completely off and then just upload all of those builds in one huge chunk. As of yet, I haven't had anyone say that they don't like that. So I'm going, going to continue doing that for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Unless you guys are just like, no, I want your build. I want to get your build off of the gallery after I watch the video. Otherwise, I'm just going to forget about it and never go check. Um, which is a concern of mine. Um, but it's just... It's just so tedious, but I'll do better. Anyway, this is upstairs. I talked I talked through the rest of the daughter's room, but no big deal. It was just, I just filled it with a whole bunch of void critter things um, and stuff of that nature. But this is just like a little seating area in front of this bookcase that I put in the hall. This bookcase is from Kids Room. I recently purchased I recently purchased Kids Room and I really, really enjoy the bookcases. They're very colorful and I wish they came with more neutral tones. Like the bookcase itself comes in neutral tones, but the clutter and books in them are very, very colorful. So I wish that stuff came more neutrally or and I would use that bookshelf a lot more. But uh, I figured since this, I figured since I was putting it upstairs, which is where all the bedrooms were, it would be okay to kind of have it more colorful because, again, this is a family home with with three kids, <laughs> and with three kids, you would probably need more storage. So if you get a closer look at that bookcase, there are like some storage containers on them. Um, sorry if you heard Daisy bark just then. And also, sorry that this is a little bit of a longer video. It's right under 30 minutes. I think it's like 28 or so after screenshots, maybe even 29. Um, I know people tend to not care about longer videos. They actually prefer longer videos. I know I do. Like if I'm watching Deligracy or Devin Bumpkin or Little Simsy, and I, well, not necessarily Little Simsy because most of her videos are fairly short. But like my favorite Sims YouTuber is Devin Bumpkin. So if he were to post a 12 minute video, I'd be kind of bummed, you know, I would still watch it, obviously. But um, I would just be like, oh, I wish it was longer, <laughs> you know. Um, so I know most of you don't care about longer videos. It's just us as content creators. We don't like longer videos because they take longer. And in a 30 minute voiceover, there's not a whole lot you can say, which is why right at the very beginning, I went off on a completely I went on a I went on a tangent when and talked right over the kitchen. Um, I just heard something hit the floor downstairs, and I'm really hoping it wasn't my iPad because my iPad was sitting on the couch. Hopefully, it was just the remote. But anyway, <laughs> we have moved on to the kid to the second kid's room. So this is also a kid, but he is a boy. He is very into science and astrology and stuff of that nature. I pretty much talked through his entire room as well, um, but I did give him one of the scientific um, experiment tables. I don't know what you actually call that, but I did give him one. I know that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with astrology, but I do imagine the kid is very smart. So there's that. And then this is the older kid's room. He is a teen. He is also a he. I imagine he's going through a phase right now, and he actually painted his entire room black. He went and got the gray um, bedspread and yeah, <laughs> all of that. Um, not really a rebellious phase, just kind of like uh, uh, it's it's a phase within his within his craft so his 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 hobbies he's he's a musician <laughs> i don't know why that took me three thousand years to say but he is a musician he's really into music um he has the amps because he plays guitar i imagine he does sing a little bit as well i should have put a mic in here um so that you could uh build up his singing skill but i forgot maybe he even has a band i wish that was something we could do in the sims form a band you could you could kind of fake it by creating a group and then the group's activities could be like karaoke or playing guitar 
or dancing or something like that. You could kind of fake it. Um, but it would be really cool. I've said this before. I personally, the game pack that I want, everybody wants farming and this and that and this and that. What I want in The Sims is a performer's pack. So we ha it would basically be an ex like an expansion of an expansion, which I know we don't like <laughs> um, because we feel like it's ca they're capitalizing off of content that should have been in other packs um because everything i'm about to say should have been and could have been in get famous but i want a performance pack where you can become famous by being a dancer you can become famous by being a singer you can become famous by being um anything performance wise like a broadway theater person or a magician a puppeteer like literally anything that has to do with performing like i want a performer's pack it doesn't even have to be an expansion pack make it a game pack and it can basically be like dlc downloadable content for get famous or update get famous to add those things to it so if a guru is watching this make it happen <laughs> i'm a dancer i work as a dancer and in the sims I mean, I work as a dance teacher, and in The Sims, my sim cannot be a dance teacher or a dancer. <laughs> and it's quite insulting that the dance that the dancing skill in The Sims is only only has five levels. But I won't even get into that. <laughs> um, I'm just being ridiculous. Anyway, we're cluttering up the kitchen. Um, I did put the parenthood board because with three kids, they need some order. Um, I imagine the boy probably ignores the board. He probably breaks curfew all the time. He's not a bad kid. He just doesn't care. Like, he's not a bad kid. He makes good grades. He listens to his parents in the sense of like, I don't know. I don't know. Like he had like he doesn't blatantly disrespect them is what I'm saying. But if he has a gig or a date with a girl or something like that and his curfew is set for 9, he's not going to show up at 9. He's going to get home whatever time he wants to get home. And the parents kind of let him get away with it because he's such a good kid. Um but maybe something happens in his life to where he does turn kind of into a more bad kid. Maybe um, he gets kicked out of his current band and that depresses him and he joins another one and they're in their big group of not good kids. I don't know. But anyway, that's the build, guys. The screenshots are currently rolling. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will always respond to your comments. And please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it, and I will see you all then. Bye, guys.